Guys, we're going to talk about the absolute value function here, um, classes of functions. So this is section 9.5 in the book, and it's uh, basically saying that if you take the absolute value, the number in the front here, it, it always is going to tell you if it opens to an open V or a downward V. And then you use the format here, y equals a absolute value x minus h plus k. The trick is the middle. Now the front number tells you opens up or down. Look at these examples. 2 opens up, negative 2 opens down. See how this number opens up. Opens up, nothing uh, positive in front, and so on. But the tricks are the actually the inside. The inside tells you left or right. So when it says tells you, it tells you to put the vertex at hk. And if it's negative h, here's where the trick comes in. So over here, let's start with the problem number one. When you go to sketch this example, you have to sketch it like so. If it says plus one, it means you go to the right one. One to the right. So starting at the origin, you go to the right one. Kind of like what we've done before in the past. Does anyone remember doing linear equations, starting with the y-intercept or the b, then you use rise or run? Well, the y-intercept for these examples is always going to start, or your starting point is always going to be 0, 0. Then you move up because the outside number or the k tells you to move up. So you move to the right one and then 1, 2, 3. And there it is. It goes up. And then you have a V, and that's your absolute value. And the vertex is going to be positive 1, 3. And that's how it's done. And then you can try these. This one, the vertex is negative 3, 1. This one, the vertex is positive 3, negative 2. And when you sketch them, you go to negative 3, 1. And because the positive 2 in front, very easy, just make your V, V, V. Same thing on this one. We know it's 3, 1, 2, 3, negative 2, 1, 2, but it opens down. So when you make your coordinate, now you open it down. And that's the value.